Hello everyone! Right, we're here at episode 6 of the MHC for January 2015. I've just come back on my first quick trip to the, uh, the nether to have a look what's going on. I've got things I really want to do, so I'm running back to my... Hello, he seemed very... He looked very close by. He sounded horribly close. Oh, no, he's evidently hiding in the ceiling. Right, good, good, good. That's fine, I can cope with that. Right. I am so confused, I've just turned myself around and gone back to the same place again. Right, let's get on with it, what I'm supposed to be doing. I've got plans. This whole area, I'm going, I'm going to chisel out some of this and make this into a storage bay. Just along here. Like this is going to be my storage area, but that's just the start. It's it's all going to happen in there, right? Um, what I remember, yes, that's it. I remember putting in iron to smelt and. Um, we've got wood aplenty over here. Look at that, it's just a mass of tree. I would like to go back and get even more of the um, of the quartz, the uh, quartz from the nether. That was my main reason for going there last time. And um, is that the is that all the trees? Is that all of that mass of right. Okay, I'll let that decay. I've got you I've got miles more. Well I've got wood. Right, I have got a plan, and I was saying last time that I really wanted to build something in the nether, but I've decided that the thing I want to build, I would actually do it here in this world, and make use of the lava that I've got just down here, in this place by the portal. That's here, isn't it? Yes, right. <laughs> Okay, right, that's going to be something. I've got an idea for the, for something there. Um, okay, things are fetchable from, from anywhere around here, so maybe if what I do is I give myself a little bit of building space here. And what I'm going to do is build myself an automatic smelting system using lava. That's the plan. And I think I'll, I'll set that down very slightly because it needs space down below. Now, right, travelling crafting table. Let's set that up while I'm doing the building. A few more of those. Now we want at the bottom of it let's have a double chest to collect the output. Okay. Then I definitely need more chests. Let's just make lots of chests. Ooh, what happened there? I should 
so for the moment. Now, we need hoppers. Um, let's just build a couple of those for starters. And put them... Now, can I do them so that they go in like that? That might be the idea. Yeah. Hopefully things should go... Anything I drop into that hopper should go into that chest. Now on top of there, I whip up a couple of furnaces. just realized I totally forgot to set my timer going. I wonder how long I've been going. Who knows? I'm just going to have to keep a very careful eye on um, when I'm getting to day seven. Okay, so that's there. Now what we want is we want to feed into here more hoppers. So we want a hopper to take fuel and raw materials into each of these. So I want four more hoppers. <laughs> Helps if you count. Count the clicks. Okay. Now I would hope I can... Make that one go there. I've done things like this before, but they've always been a slightly different design. Okay. And then... We need other chests to feed in the raw materials. should work. Right. And what we can practice with is we put all the buckets in those. And then up top here, we put a good supply of cobble, so we can start cooking it up. And we can see, look, it's starting to cook it. And out here, I've already got my empty buckets. So it's beginning to work, isn't it, already? Smeltarium! Patented the Batty Smeltarium. Top it up. Obviously, the more buckets we can get going, the better. And we'll, we can leave a good supply of everything cooking. Now, one drawback is that it will only work while I'm in the overworld. As soon as I go through to the nether, um, that will stop working because the chunks will unload. But that's a good working machine. I'm on my way with my working machine. So let's let's hop off here again. No, I keep going the wrong way. I didn't want to go to this cave. I suppose I'll have to use this cave for something in the end. Perhaps in the end I'll use it as my mushroom farm. Every time I come out of the main base, I should remember to turn... No, not out of the main base, out of... I should turn left. 
Wow. I think I've got things ready to kill in here, haven't I? Yeah. Pretty dark in there. Be nice if I had replaced. Yeah, I need my slaps in place, really, don't I? It sounds like he's he was just taking his own time to turn up, didn't he? Hello, are you here yet? Oh, here he is. He doesn't know where to go. He's he's thoroughly lost. Right, okay, down here. We've got wheat coming in. That's good. Now. Do next. I, I do want to go to the Nether at one point again to pick up more supplies. I really need a lot of quartz, so that'll be a definite thing that I need to do. Um, but I really want to stay around while my smelterium is uh, working. I've only got 41 quartz, that's really not... Shush! Hello, you here? Can't see anyone. Oh, there we are. Hello, hello noisy. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm walking away. Doesn't know what he's doing. Just come here and die. Come on, how can you... Takes so long to die. Right, that was noisy. Oh, there's more noise going on. Oh, that that's in the lava that I know is in there. Um a little more I am I am going to finish off hollowing out this area which is going to be my my um what did I call it? Storage area, storage chamber. The idea I've got is something that I've, I've done a few times before in other worlds. Just having the chest, double chests, end on, with with the end showing and all nicely labelled up, so you can see what um, what you've got there. And, but it's all part of. Let's let's. Put the refinements in now. Let's have the whole place beginning to look like I want it to look. Now, that's something else where I've had an idea. What I want it to look like is we're going with a Roman theme. Batius is going to be the guy. And what we will do is I, I want to use the quartz as a good load of um let's see um like quartz slabs and chiseled quartz blocks and some other things that seem to go along with that theme uh, i won't do it all, all in quartz i think that's just too white an effect um i want to cook up all of those uh, cobblestones into smooth stone, make slabs and we'll have, we'll have um, smooth stone slabs and quartz slabs interchanged with some chiseled quartz. I think that all, all together that will look really quite nice. Okay, so here we go. The beginning of the... We can do it like this, can't we? That's the start, and we can start organising where we put everything. Now I've more or less run myself out of wood doing that, but it's it's still coming in over here. More and more supplies. I 
can hear the spider that Cherry wants. It's, it's here in this world. Right, I'm aware I've got to keep my eye on the time. Really going to have to replant. I was kind of forgetting to replant recently, not that it's harmed it in many ways. Oh, we have more wood up there as well. Just trying to get a bit of clearance. I don't really want to uh, spend an episode of punching away leaves. Right. No more saplings. I can't believe it. One sapling. I'll leave this one down there. And another apple. Good, good. Okay. So, my wood supplies are replenished. That's good. Oh, look, bones I've got. Didn't realise I picked up so many bones. But I'm alright for food as well. I'm doing fine. Um, okay, so that's the beginning of the that area. Now, what I want as well is a few more sticks so I can make some signs. Forgot they make three now. Oh, I'll have to think how, how I want to divide it up, really, won't I? Tell you what, for the moment I'll just put the, put the signs in the chest. They, that can be um, sorted out later. Um, I'll see how the smelting is going. Hopefully it's not... Um, I was just wondering whether to put something to remind myself that, um, that I have to go... I have to turn that way when I come through here. Always forgetting. Right, still, still seems to be running. Yeah, I'm getting a good supply of smooth stone going in there. I suppose I could put some more up there just to keep it going. I had an idea. Now this is a low-lying area. And... Maybe we can just make it into a natural pond for fishing. Natural looking. Not natural at all. But no one will know. Okay, so there was maybe a little bit more obsidian left sitting here than I had hoped for. Which will be a little bit painful to chip away. If I get myself a permanent water source, an infinite water source down here. Then I can fish. I've got more ideas. Along the Roman theme, I've got um, one of these lava areas nearby here will become some kind of a sunken Roman bath as well. I'll fill it in. One of the other lava ideas I've got though is using lava as underfloor light and heating. Of course you don't really feel the heating but you can imagine it. Right, do you think that'll do as a starter pond? I've only got one bucket here at the moment. If I dump that in there Go back. I can collect. That's my storage area looking good. Oh, I've left my other buckets in the um, 
And the thingy, haven't I? You know what a thingy is, don't you? Day seven, we've reached day seven. Okay, I don't know quite how long that's happened, but right. Well, I hope you're seeing things beginning to change a little bit around here, and I hope you'll join me next time for episode seven. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.